Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about how to find the sum of uh, many terms in a geometric sequence. And another word for that is geometric series. So how do we do it? Well, firstly, let's make up a random uh, sequence, uh, sorry, a geometric sequence. So let's start with the number five and let's multiply by a factor of 2 every time so 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40 and so on. So this is our geometric sequence where we're multiplying by 2 every time to get to our next number and if I want to know the sum of the first three terms then what is the answer? We have 5 plus 10 plus 20 so that is 35 but if I want to know the sum of let's say 30 terms it's going to be very hard for me to write out all the terms and it's going to take very long to add them all together so I need a formula for it well how do we get the formula? well let's try and make it up from scratch so the sum of n terms is going to be and uh, just uh, before we start that let's remind you guys what the formula for geometric sequence is um, so the nth term in a geometric sequence is a times r to the power of n minus 1 where a in this case is the is 5 which is the first term and n and r is uh, 2 which is the uh, multiplication factor Ooh, what happened there r is 2 okay so anyway um, let's go back to our formula writing so the first number is a the second number is going to be a times r the third number 20 is going to be a times r squared and we're going to have a times r cubed and so on all the way to a times r to the power of uh, m minus 1 and that will be the formula for the sum of all the terms in our in our geometrical geometric sequence up to the nth term but that's not going to help us figure out s30 because we still need to figure out each term and that's going to take a very long time so um, let's make up a second equation let's make up a second equation where we have the same equation but we're going to multiply both sides by r so what happens is on the left hand side I multiply it by r use a dark uh, lighter color so on both sides I multiply it by r so it's r times sn equals r times everything um, that's in there already so a plus a r plus a r squared All right, everything that's in there already now if I expand it out on the right hand side I then get a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed plus a r to the power 4 dot 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 a r That's it. Uh, a r n, sorry, a r to the power of n, because here is how it works: a r m minus one times r becomes a r to the power of m minus one plus one. So minus one plus one cancels to zero. So it's a r to the power of n. So that's the last term that we have if we multiply both sides by r 
And now we have two equations. We have equation one, which is our original equation, and equation two, which we got from multiply both sides by r. And now what I'm going to try is I'm going to try um, equation two minus equation one. So what happens if I do that? Well, I have RSN minus SN equals all this stuff, AR plus AR squared plus AR3. Minus everything in this section which I'm gonna be a bit lazy and just copy it down okay so minus everything here okay and so what happens what happens is um, let me just rub this out not that it matters so equation 2 minus equation 1 and obviously I have to expand it by uh, multiplying the negative sign out so then this becomes AR plus AR squared plus AR cubed to ARN minus A minus AR minus AR squared minus AR cubed minus a r to the power of n minus 1 so now we can start crossing things out why because we have all these positives and negatives of the same terms a r squared is gone a r cubed is gone um, a r 4 is still there but as you can imagine there's going to be a negative AR4 right there should have been a ne uh, plus AR to the power of 4 there as well so there will be a negative AR4 as well so that's gone and then what do we have left oh well, we have uh, minus A And we have minus a r m minus one. Now, as you can imagine, okay, because if we keep if we kept going on the left hand side here, we have a r to the power of four, and just before we get to a r n, there's going to be a term where we have a r m minus one. Okay, so plus a r n minus 1 on the left hand side and that's going to cancel out that's going to cancel out with this one so the only thing we have remaining is minus a plus uh, a r to the power of n All right that's the only thing we have left so if I write it out again, it's RSN minus SN equals minus A plus AR to the power of N. And if I factor out the um, SN on the left, because SN is basically a common factor on the left hand side, so SN bracket R minus 1 is equal to minus A plus ARN. And on the right hand side, I'm also going to factor out the A. So uh, SN bracket R minus 1 equals my, uh, A bracket uh, minus 1 plus RN, R to the power of N. 
and uh, just to make it less confusing I'm gonna rearrange this so it's a bracket r to the power of n minus 1 it's the same thing and then I'm going to rearrange it by moving the r minus 1 down to the right hand side so sn is equal to a bracket r n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 and there you go there is our formula there is our formula for finding the sum of n terms in a geometric sequence so let's test if that works with our um, S3. S3 the answer was 35. Let's see if it'll work. So we got the formula which I'm gonna copy out and uh, let's paste it over here. Okay so let's try it out with S3. So if I have S3 and that'll equal A which is 5 times 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 so that's 5 times 8 minus 1 over 1 so that's 5 times 7 which is 35 and that's exactly what I had doing it manually now let's try S30 you, know, you might say S3 well that's easy I don't need a formula but S30, good luck doing that without a formula. So that's going to be uh, 5, A is 5 times um, R is 2 to the power of 30 minus 1 over uh, 2 minus 1. Okay, so it's just 1 on the bottom. So you can just type in the calculator 5 times 2 to the power of 30 minus 1. So let's do that in the calculator. 5 times 2 to the power of 30 minus 1. I have 5368. It's a huge number. Which I'm not allowed to paste. So 5368709115. Okay, so there's your answer. I uh, hope you learned something from today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time.